everybody. Welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. We are in part two of, um, of our conversations with Mahil Kirk, and we are talking about his book, Dream Guidance, Connecting to the Soul Through Dream Incubation. So welcome back. Thank you. Great. So, I want to ask you about, so there's five steps. Um, and the first step, um, so step us through if we would like to, in our dreams, um, structure our process a little bit. What's the first step? Yes. So dream incubation is a very old technique in which you ask your dream a question before you go to bed in order to elicit a response from your dream. So we have a lot of uh, spontaneous dreams uh, that uh, can be guiding, but you don't have to wait for a spontaneous dream to come to you. It is almost like uh, if your son would come to you and say, mom, can you give me some advice? You'll be like, yes, uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and, and, and there's something similar happening with, uh, with the larger awareness in the dream. If we turn towards and say, hey, gosh, uh, I am uh, stuck with this thing that's really relevant to my life. Uh, I would love to have some support. Uh, support is uh, on standby. It just needs mm. an informed consent. And uh, dream incubation is a way of asking the dream for support. Mm. And I tested it myself and went uh, visit all these cultures and then distillated this really uh, practical, simple, effective five-step process that everyone can do and that everyone can apply to their own dreams. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can give an example. Sure. Actually, what can I give you um, an example yeah. that my client wanted? Because yes. I actually was just talking to my client yesterday and she said in my coaching session, she said, I'm, I have this dream yeah. and it involved like an octopus. And um, she had to she was given this um, she was given this task to be a CEO of an organization. And I'll tell you a little bit because you'll probably you'll you may come up with something that I didn't. But she said she was she was asked to be CEO of the organization. There are three different people um, that were queued up for this job. A man actually got this job, but there are two other women who were equally qualified that didn't get the job. And then she was told by some, she like, you know, this is when the dreams start being like, I'm not sure what this means, but then she was told she had a, a mission and the mission was to return, take these three sea creatures and return them back to the ocean. One was an octopus. The second was a crab and the third was a salmon. And the first was an octopus that she ended up like ended up sucking life energy out of her. And they had to like, basically cut off the limbs of the octopus in order for it to and throw it back to the sea. And she felt okay with doing that because the octopus actually the legs of the octopus regenerate. Not that she's a violent person, but this is like she knows from her experience that the legs will regenerate. The second was a crab. She just threw it in there. <laughs> she know what I'm like, okay. And then the third was a salmon. And she said she was walking along a very long um, wall of, of that was separating the sea from the land and she kept on walking 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 trying to find her right opening until she found it seemed like the perfect opening and she threw the salmon over the fence and then the salmon was to be set free and her interpretation was that it had it, like she mentioned it to me because we're working on her life path and um, answering a lot of these questions, like what some of the things in the back of your book, which I love, are specific structured questions that you can ask during this incubation process. Like, what do I need to focus on right now? Can you show me something that's important for me to see and know? And can you, in my dream tonight, clearly explain to me how I can find my life's purpose? Or please show me the blind spot in my life that currently is hindering me the most so I don't know what I don't know what she, I think she's been trying to figure out what her life purpose is and this dream kind of came up as a, an answer to her so um I guess that's that if we can use would you mind using that as a structure because she probably would find this really wonderful to hear an, an expert dream person help her maybe figure out how to cultivate this incubation process, something that was a spontaneous guiding dream, right? But now that she wants to dig in more, learn more, um, what could she learn about this dream that she's already had? And how can she use your incubation process to further her exploration? Then, uh, then the first uh, first step that she wants to do is just figure out what uh, what is the what, what does she take out of this dream that she had? 
and uh, somehow she gets the assign assignment to bring bring things back to the sea mm -hmm. and so that she figures out for herself what could be these things that 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 maybe actually belong in the sea and whose natural habitat is the sea that i bring back to the sea and uh, if that is what i need to do that uh, that she explores in her own life what uh, what could it be and if things come up and uh, uh, that it also gives a bit of a warning with the octopus that uh, it is not just uh, she needs to be a bit careful in how she goes about it mm. because uh, otherwise it sucks the life out of her mm. and uh, um, um, and and if if she would really delve into it she could make start making a little bit of a drawing of the octopus and the crab and the salmon and uh and, and even tell them I'm I'm going to bring you back to the sea, and I hope that you'll have a good time there. And uh, then then you start aligning with the energies mm. that uh, that are alive within, even if she doesn't completely know what salmon is or didn't mm. study all the salmon traditions. She just knows, hey salmon, I know you need to go back to the sea. I'm going to do that. And, uh, and 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 then talk to it so that that, that energy gets flowing. Mm. So that would be a bit of the work on the on the dream. And then what uh, uh, she would come to step one, and that is figuring out what uh, question is still alive in her. Mm. And uh, she, she she the best thing she can do to it is just ask herself, what do I want to know, or uh, what question is alive. And then probably something comes up like how can I do this or what shall I do with that or an alive question steps forward mm -hmm. and we all have a, question, a live question so anyone that sits at home could also ask themselves what what question is alive in me mm -hmm. what do I really uh, what have what have I been uh, be, been struggling with mm -hmm. and, and that's alive for her because and I assume by alive it means there's like energy there's like right. passion and juice around yeah that specific question and um you say in your book is and does she have intentionality around that um and for her it's what is the purpose of my life at this point because she's gone through her kids are also like myself have gone to college and she's empty nesting so it's what is the intention? What is, how do I, you know, that's definitely got juice around and she's very o open to it. And I know you talk about specific, what's the specific part? Well, the, uh, the question, uh, uh, sometimes you can see that the dream is, is uh, willing to say, this is your purpose. Mm. Uh, sometimes the dream wants you to figure it out a little bit more for yourself. Mm. Then you could shift the question to, uh, what should I focus upon right now? Ah, got it. Because that will that will reveal sooner or later what you need to do. Mm. Maybe it is so oh, you haven't whatever the answer will be. So you can ask a question. A big question is what's my purpose? Sometimes it answers, sometimes not. If it's not, it doesn't mean uh, you're doing something wrong. But it's more this wise inner counselor thinks you. It's better for you to figure this out on your own because then you, you believe it more, you know it more. It's, mm it's in yourself mm. so she can ask both questions because the, the dream doesn't mind if you ask a question if let's say you get three nights in a row no answer i usually say probably the wrong question or the wrong time or mm. something, something and i change the question but so she could ask what shall i focus upon right now mm. simple mm -hmm. question and uh, uh and that is also in the second part is uh, phrase the question in a in a in a clear way mm. so don't make it open don't ask two questions in one like is what is my life purpose and where do i find the man or woman of my dreams right that's going to be you Too get much. A yeah you get a convoluted answer you, you wouldn't know which part of the dream tells you about your purpose and where's your partner and the dream wants to help you with both things but just put them in different lights and uh, so ask a, ask a question and, and write it down because just mm -hmm. like dreams seem to evaporate the exact question also seems to sometimes take on a different form <laughs> that's so true i do i do the I Ching, and sometimes my yeah. what question did i write and i actually yeah. thought the 
And, and, and I've talked to a lot of different people about writing good questions, but frankly, I think your description is the best that I've ever read. And it breaks it down into, um, I think, four different categories. Um, the one that we just talked about is prescriptive, I think. It's like a strategy or insight that I need for like, what do I need to do right now for the next month? What do I need to do for the next month? Yeah. But, and then you have incubation, like, would you say like what is my purpose is that an incubation kind of dream that you it, it, it is an incubation any question that you ask before you go to sleep to the to the to the dream would be an incubation question okay. incubation dream. but uh um yes it's just like in the I Ching or in the tarot it, it you, you want to formulate a, a great question and right. i've also seen from people that are in those traditions that say oh now i understand better how or this may, helps me to sharpen that question. Right. And uh, uh, so there are, pre, if, if a uh, uh, diagnostic question, what goes on with me right now, or where does this pain come from in me, or uh, some diagnosis, almost like a right. psychological x-ray. Yeah. You can have an, a prognostic question. What does it yeah. look like for me too? Yeah, sure. So she may say, why can't I find my, why can't, why is it so hard? For, what, what's stopping me from seeing my, life purpose right so it's yeah, a it's yeah. a diagnostic as in like yeah. why can't i yeah. a very specific one and then an open-ended question is just are, are all of these in that's like open-ended like what that's what open that's open-ended and okay. even better than why can't i one could ask uh what is my biggest obstacle mm. uh, in uh, in in uh to far as finding love or getting connected to my purpose and also, if you ask about what's my biggest obstacle, you get just one obstacle, usually. And then, and then you can just work on this biggest one that you have and you chop it away and then you can ask if either you get it or you go like, what else can I work on? Right. And work on, on the next thing. Right. So figuring out the question that you ask for incubation. And then you talk about step three. Tell us a little bit about the step three. Yeah, step three is what I call a, a create a ritual. And by a ritual, I really mean uh, focused attention, awareness, setting and in, uh, ec creating expectation that uh, 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 you talk to this inner guide or counselor or wise friend or larger awareness or the dream, or if you don't believe in any of that, you say the brain, mm -hmm. it, uh, it works in, in any fashion that you imagine. Right. And uh, uh, you spend a bit of time. You maybe uh, like in the in the purpose, or maybe you wanna you know have have better health or grow your business. Then uh, you write, "Hey, dear dream, uh, I've I've been struggling with this issue, and in my purpose, I would love to find my purpose, both for me to be happy, but also to serve people around me." Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, maybe you create another something. You get a stone or you light a candle or you just spend some time mm. and that the that the dream knows oh you're serious about this this again that relational aspect <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me here's my <laughs> dreams this is not like a demand where you're like barking orders at the fast food counter okay i want this i want a better job better husband blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like hey like you know, let's actually have a little bit of a relationship, a little bit of yeah. fair play where I get to light the candles, <laughs> give you a rose, you know, don't just like give it to me now. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Yeah, got it. Okay, so yeah. that's the intention of the ritual. That's and the then, ritual. Yeah, tell me about the step four. I, and I, I added step four in there as a, go to sleep and sleep a, a good night because we live in such a sleep deprived country. Sleep is healthy, not just because that's when we dream, but it is good for uh, for your mood and uh, right. immune system and longevity. So get a good night of sleep, uh, dream, and then in step five, uh, wake up, write down the dream because you will forget ninety nine percent of the dream, mm -hmm. and uh, and then and then work uh, with it. Uh, and and there I, I I come over and over to it. Is some dreams are very 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 clear other dreams actually bring information that you didn't know yet because you've most of the time you, you try to figure out what uh, what you 
how to get your partner or how to be nicer or grow your business. And then the dream will show you how, but it comes from an angle that you haven't thought of yet. Mm. So this is alien information that comes in a, in a form that you think, oh, that's weird. Mm. And oh, don't discount it, write it down, let it simmer, maybe uh, later in the day, return to it. Maybe you get it there or you have a synchronicity in your life or someone calls you, you open up a book, mm. something starts conspiring to give you the answer once you start putting your uh, mm. intention and, and uh, expectation in alignment with your question. I see. Yeah. So it's like, do the ritual, but you have to continue. It's not like, thank you very much. You know, <laughs> alligator, like we were talking about part one. I'm like, I don't know what that means, but like, bye. Uh, like, that's enough. So it's really like continuing the relationship with the, the daemon, the information, the inner genius that has come through in yes. that. So, so, okay. So yeah, now you, my you, you can, you can do it for a one-time thing. I've, I've seen what works a lot with people in, in larger test groups with people is for example, what is one type of food that is healthy for me to eat? Mm -hmm. For some reason, the dream, uh, very, very high uh, response, positive responses in clear format. So you could do it once. Yeah, and just see, but, is it like a, a scientific experiment to see? That's an experiment, yeah. yeah. So you're saying you'll probably, uh, if you are like, I don't believe any of this, if you thought, okay, well, just try it out. Just try yeah. what's it, and then see if you get that dream with an answer, and that will give you your like test case on whether this works or not. I like yeah, that idea. Yes, but but e even there, I encourage, uh, okay, uh, but then play along. Yeah, play don't be along. all cynical about it. Like, I'm not going to get anything in this. <laughs> no, no, no. Be, be, be like... Th those are the most difficult people that say oh i don't know great uh don't uh, don't believe me uh, test it uh, i i'm huge uh, a proponent on your own experience is, uh, is is the guiding element but even then just say hey uh, i listened to this uh, guy uh, uh, rant and rave with cj today I i'm not sure dream if there's anything <laughs> to this it sounded weird but i'm up for the experiment no, I'm just going to write you a letter and would love to hear from you if you're there. And if you're there, uh, then tomorrow, if I have a healthier food, uh, I will write it down and know better how my health is. And you know what? I'm going to take one homeless person. Uh, I'm going to give him a meal. Mm, then, then you have uh, set up the experiment and then see what happens. Uh, because who wants to hear Mahil? Um, rant and rave. You, you're like the opposite of ranting, raving. <laughs> Me, I see ranting. <laughs> you're like the calmest ever. Okay, I have, I have one other question to ask you because my husband, um, he also has a very deep spiritual practice and he, he gets messages all the time at night. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's developed a practice that, um, I don't know, I'm, as his wife, I'm questioning because he'll wake up at three, which is in a lot of... Um, Mm -hmm. that's when your pineal gland is most like on point and so yeah. it's like gets information from some higher sources your daemon or or whatever you think you're connecting to um and he'll get really in incredible messages and he'll wake up and he'll write down all the messages from 3 to 4 30 in the morning and then have to go to sleep sometimes he can't go back to sleep sometimes he has to go up and write all the messages down on his computer uh, and I think, isn't there a better way? Ask your David if they can have you sleep and recall this stuff before. So is there a better way? I mean, what advice do you have someone who has this kind of, uh, there are a lot of people yeah. who have this, I have a dream, I get up, I'm yeah. gonna write yeah. it, you know, then yeah. they don't sleep. So what yeah. advice do you have for people? Well, I, I, I like when you, I, first of all, I love that uh, your husband uh, takes it serious and, uh, and, and knows, hey, this, uh, this really works and I'm honoring this. So beautiful. And uh, you can, of course, always try to, as it's a relationship, tell the dream in the diamond, hey, if you could come at five instead of three, this would be really helpful. <laughs> and, and sometimes that works, but not always. And I, I, I just uh, remember that uh, John Lennon also said, uh, uh, the best uh, ideas come around three o'clock. And uh, he would get up and he would uh, write songs and, 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 and have sensational uh, work that comes out of it. And yeah, sometimes it's uh, the price you pay for being really connected and maybe 
that's the price and sometimes the diamond uh, says yes i can come at five uh, i see you're you're uh, really diligent uh, and sometimes <laughs> and sometimes not well, i have suggested i'm like why don't you ask these guides to come at a different time yeah. and i guess they're like we have another appointment so we're coming at three <laughs> just because he he's tried so i guess he's just like john lennon another brilliant genius who yeah, has yeah. like information come at three i mean it is hard though because he's a lot off he's often tired yeah yeah it, I guess. It, yeah the, the 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 life with the diamond is is really fulfilling but not always easy <laughs> 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 that is true probably of all spiritual practice i would say <laughs> it's hard it's hard but it's good and it's very fulfilling so um yeah. thank you so much we've been talking to mahil click about his book dream guidance connecting to the soul through dream interpretation thank you so much thanks so much thank you cj